Hi, and welcome to design vlog number six. So I'm happy today I got my package. I've got my, UT, my new TPU 3D printer filament. So I want to do a little bit of an unboxing on camera. I'm not going to do it slowly. I'm just going to open the darn package. Um, but yeah, I got my new TPU uh, 3D printer filament from Yoyi. Probably. I, I, don't, I don't know. But not really special, but I'm excited. This is this is my hand on the raw material that I need. So go ahead. Pretty simple thing. But. And there we go. This is 0.8 kilograms of 3D printer filament TPU. Um, I can already feel it's a little bit rubbery. So my handy dandy <clears throat> safety razor. And here we go. So here's a little bit of a strand of it. And it certainly does have some elastic properties. Um, it's really strong, which is, I think, fantastic. And I got a lot of this stuff. I mean, 0.8 kilograms is enough to make, I don't know, I'd say 40 pistons. So. As far as value goes, uh, it looks like you're going to be getting a pretty darn good uh, value for uh, a purchase if you ever decide to do this. If this really works and is, is flawless, then I might have to recommend this to people. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to be making our first molds today, and we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. So I've done some tests. Uh, it's safe to say that there are problems, 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 problems. Um, so a big thing that I overlook, this is why I think engineering is important. Engineering, you're supposed to look at things before you actually go and do them. And that, that's, that saves you money, that saves you um, time, that saves you, you know, health and safety issues. Um, this is the piston seal that I'm, I've worked on. Um, this is a second try. The first try resulted in me absolutely, like, literally like burning it. Um, I, say, I stayed around, as soon as I saw that it was really burning, I turned off the burner. I put, you know, I, I, it, was, it was not good. Um, this is why I need to do these projects and, and thoroughly investigate things that are happening um, before I teach my audience how to do this. Um, this is also something that happened. Um, this PVC, this is, this is something that I overlooked. PVC has a melting point which is lower than that of this. So I heat this up to 150 degrees Celsius and this starts to melt. This has not melted yet. So I'm lucky because the contact points on the PVC are small and so this really doesn't get a lot of heat uh, heat flow from the stove top that I'm using, but after, this is on there for a long time because it needs to heat up a long time and it's hard to melt. This takes a lot longer to melt than hot glue. Um, so this did melt. This is, you can see like this, this rim, this isn't color, I didn't color on this. This, this is, this is melting. Um, so my mold is, is, you know, injured. Um, and at the same time, um, it, it hurt this. I, I was, even if I didn't, the reason why this is so like deformed is because I didn't put enough in. Um, you can look at the bottom. I mean, it's it's smooth. I have promise with this. I know for a fact that I can melt this stuff on a stove top and evenly spread it around. So, if I had more material in there, it would have it would have filled in the gaps and and created my my piston seal. However, it didn't. Um, I need to fix this problem. I am probably not going to use PVC as a mold if I want to use my TPU plastic. So, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, this is, why, this is why I want to look into these things. I'm testing. Um, this material, I mean, this material is fantastic. 
I would be, it's so strong that if I put this inside of my, my cylinder and used it as a piston seal, I think it would really do nicely. Um, it might be a little bit too stiff, um, but I can't tell if that's just because this side is, that is burned. Um, but yeah, I, I investigated this enough for today. Uh, you'll see another upload from me on Monday. Um, I'm going to be going and, and doing some more tests with it. I might even do more today, but I just won't, I won't record anything. Um, we'll be looking to improve our PVC mold, um, try to get something that's a little bit uh, not so easy to melt. And, and then we'll be um, trying to experiment ways to optimize the melt of this. But as, as we're at, where, where we are right now, I would never tell somebody to do this over choosing to use the hot glue piston seal. So after, after this is canceled out, we'd probably go to, back to hot glue. Um, we will see though. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I didn't get to show you much, but it's a Friday. My girlfriend was off from work and I didn't get a lot of time into this. So I appreciate you tuning in today um, and have a great one. See ya. More information is offered on my website, thedoityourselfresource.com. As well, feel free to like our Facebook page and watch us live on twitch.tv. Links are in the description. Thank you very much and goodbye.